Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today I have partnered with City Beauty to bring you my current flawless bright under eye area look. So you're gonna see everything, prep, makeup, setting, all of that. What I have been doing to achieve a flawless look along the face and a brighter, more even look underneath the eyes. So with that, Let's get into it, shall we? We're gonna start off by prepping the skin. This is so important, especially underneath the eyes. Your makeup is gonna look better, it's gonna last longer, it's going to sit better on the skin when you've prepped, properly prepped the skin. And for that, I have been reaching for the City Beauty Brightening Under Eye Treatment. It's designed to reduce puffiness and brighten the under eye darkness. The formula feels so refreshing and hydrating underneath the eyes. It absorbs quickly and I love that it's packed with peptides, hyaluronic acid. This is gonna help to smooth out the skin and reduce the appearance of fine lines. I love this stuff. I didn't always prep the under eye area before going in with product like makeup products but let me tell you it's a must you have to do it wait a few minutes afterward of course before going in with your makeup let all of your products like sink into the skin get absorbed by the skin before moving on and trust me it's going to change the way that your makeup looks now one product that i've added to my prep that has truly made a difference is this one here from City Beauty. This is the Line Blurring Wrinkle Filler. This product is perfect for targeting those fine lines and wrinkles, especially around the eyes. I like to apply it just before my makeup and it creates the smoothest base and makes everything look so flawless. Now for a brighter under eye area, you do want to apply brightening products. Usually people will tell you to go with like a lighter concealer, like one to two shades lighter to highlight the under eye area. And all that that means is that it brings that part of the face forward. It gives the illusion of like a fuller under eye area, which is why people like to highlight the under eye area. Totally get it, especially if you have hollows like I do and dark circles. Now, if you've tried to do the highlighting under the eyes without color correcting and you happen to have dark circles, um, you're gonna probably notice, or you would have probably noticed, that it looks a little gray. It doesn't look right. It, it doesn't look the same as it did in the tutorial. It never does. And let me tell you why. You may not be color correcting. Also, the shade of the concealer matters a lot. Personally, I like to highlight all the way in the end, so we're not gonna highlight quite yet, but we are going to color correct. And for that, I'm using the e.l.f. Putty Color Corrector Eye Brightener. So we start off with the corrector, brightening up the under eye area with a corrector. This one is in the shade Medium Tan, and that is what it looks like right there. I really like this particular shade for my skin tone because it evens everything out without it looking orange or without it looking excessively red or, you know, just another shade. It just neutralizes my under eye darkness, which is what I need before I go in and conceal and brighten and do all the things. So I'm just applying a small amount of that with my finger to the areas that I need it in. I don't take this color corrector all the way to the lash line. I like to keep it just below the lash line just to minimize the amount of product that's getting placed underneath the eye. I find that everything looks a lot nicer when it's not caked on, you know? So just like that, and you see, even just like the one light layer of color corrector has already made such a difference underneath the eyes. All right, so, so far we have hydrated the under eye area. We've also smoothed out the under eye area as well as the smile lines. We've color corrected the under eye area. Next, foundation. Now this is where, you know, you can just choose any foundation that you'd like. Personally, I have really been enjoying this one from NARS. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation. I use the shade M1.2, which is Patagonia. I really like this foundation because it's medium coverage, so it's not gonna look heavy, it's not gonna look caked on, and it gives the most beautiful natural finish. This is also a very lightweight formula, so it doesn't feel like much along the face at all. It feels very, very, very lightweight. It almost feels like you don't really have 
foundation on. Now, concealer. I have been reaching for this so much, okay? This is the Tarte Creaseless Creamy Concealer, not to be confused with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. Now, Tarte Creaseless and I, we do not get along at all. I can't stand her, <laughs> but Creaseless Creamy, she and I, we get along just fine. For this formula, I use the shade Medium Neutral. I really like how it conceals the under eye area. And I just apply a small amount to the darkest areas of the under eye, which for me are the inner corners. So while that sets, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of bronzer, a little bit of color, because although I love this foundation, it does leave you looking very one-dimensional, like very one shade. And I wanna bring some warmth back into the skin. I love this product, okay? This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer from Make by Mario. This one is in the shade Light Medium. As you can see, I show it a lot of love. <laughs> I really, really like this cream bronzer. And just gonna apply it here, right above the hollows of the cheek area, and then I'm bringing it up to the temple. Like I said, this is just gonna warm up the complexion a little bit, so that it brings back just a little bit of color. Okay, now that the concealer has had time to set, we are gonna blend it out using a powder puff. And we're just gonna blend it out by going back and forth just very gently back and forth along the area where the concealer was placed. And we wanna bring it all the way into the inner corner of the eye because that is going to help to brighten the under eye area even that much more. I mean, you can clearly see how much brighter just bringing it up to the inner corner has made this. Next, we're gonna set the under eye area using the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in the shade Peach Pie. Looks like this. I also like using her Cherry Blossom shade. And we're gonna be applying this powder in two different ways. The first way is with a makeup brush. And this is just to set the under eye area lightly. You know, when you first apply your concealer, it is wet. And depending on what concealer you use, it can stay wet for a little while, right? Especially if you're using something that has like more of a natural finish, that's never gonna really set to anything that feels like completely dried down and smooth. It's meant to not do that, just like this particular concealer, which is why I find that setting it very lightly with a brush and then going in with more powder afterward looks so much better rather than just applying powder on top right away while it's still wet. I find that that kind of, depending on what the combination is, it can look like a paste underneath the eye. And we don't want it to look like a paste, okay? We want it to look nice and smooth and brightened. So that is why I go in with a little bit of powder and a brush to minimize the amount of powder that's landing underneath the eye. And then I take some powder with my powder puff. I just shake off the excess, look down, and this is going to further set the under eye area and also help to brighten the under eye area, which is what we're trying to do. Now, if you wanna take the under eye brightening to the next level, that is when you reach for this guy. This is from Bare Minerals. It is their multitasking concealer in the shade Summer Bisque. This stuff is amazing, okay? amazing. I apply it with a brush. I apply it with a sponge. It really doesn't matter. It just depends on like whether you want a brighter look all over the under eye area or to very like specific spots underneath the eye. So I'm going to take the same brush that I used to set the concealer into place. I'm going to take a little bit of that powder with this brush. I'm going to swirl it in the lid just so that it distributes it a bit more evenly. I'm going to look up and this is getting swept right underneath the eye. Now I'm going to take the powder puff, the one that I used to set, dip it into the Bare Minerals powder. Don't need a lot, that is for sure. You do not need a lot, just that much. 
shaking off any of the excess. And then looking down, and this is going to get placed right here. And you see that? This gives you a bit more brightness underneath the eye than you otherwise would have, especially if you have dark circles, you know? Now the last thing that we want to do, of course, is set everything in place. I like to do the setting spray before I go in with mascara now because I was finding that sometimes if I did the setting spray after mascara, mascara can like transfer onto the under eye area and completely ruin what we just did. We don't want that, okay? So that's why now I leave the mascara until the end. <laughs> Now to complete the base, of course, we want a little bit of color, a little bit more color to the cheeks. So I'm using this guy. This is the bronzer from Bare Minerals in the shade Kiss of Mauve. Looks like that. Absolutely love this shade. Just applying a little bit of that to the cheeks just to give us a little flush of color like that. And to finish off the look completely, I'm going in with a lip liner. This one's from Makeup Forever. It is their Artist Color Pencil in the shade Anywhere Caffeine. I really like this for like an everyday lip pencil because it goes with so many different eye colors as far as like the lid. I don't have much on the lid other than just a matte shade and a little bit of shimmer along the brow bone. So I figured that this one would be perfect for today. So just outlining the lips, leaving most of the center just completely untouched, completely without any color. But I'm completing the look with the City Beauty City Lips Plumping Lip Gloss. I like this so much. This is such a comfortable formula. It's not sticky. It's not messy. It gives your lips the most beautiful, natural, plump look without stinging. This doesn't sting. This doesn't feel uncomfortable like a lot of plumping lip glosses tend to. It's infused with hyaluronic acid and peptides that visibly plump your lips while keeping them super hydrated, which is perfect for me during the colder, drier months. I am truly obsessed with the natural, fuller look that it gives. Perfect for any makeup look. So that completes today's flawless, bright under eye area look. What do you guys think? Personally, I love it. I, it's my go-to look for any and every occasion when I don't know exactly what to do and I don't want to go too glammed up or too natural, you know? It's like right in the middle. I really, really like it and I hope you guys do as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed today's little makeup tutorial and that you found it helpful. Thanks again to City Beauty for partnering with me in today's video. I will have everything that I use from them linked down in the description box below. And make sure to use Buy Sarah at checkout for 15% off site-wide. Highly recommend their products. Everything that I've used has been really good so you will not be disappointed anyway take care and i will see you in my next video